Hello, my name is Shayla Frederick, and I'm the Ignatian Immersion and Solidarity Coordinator at Regis Jesuit High School and a graduate from the class of 2014. This month, Regis Jesuit is exploring our connection to the universal apostolic preferences of the Society of Jesus throughout the world. We spent last week looking at the first of these preferences, showing the way to God. I'm excited to share with you my thoughts on the second of these UAPs, walking with the excluded. We've all had experiences in life of feeling excluded. I'm sure you can call one to mind. It's part of the human experience. Maybe you were picked last for a team in PE class, or maybe you saw photos go up on social media of a birthday party you weren't invited to. Whatever comes to mind, you know that it's a heart aching experience to be excluded. It can leave you feeling sad, lonely, unworthy, or at the deepest level, feeling unloved. Now, what about the people for whom being excluded is part of their daily lived experiences? The people who live in a world that neglects their most basic human needs, casts them out from community, and violates their human dignity. These are the excluded we are called to walk with and love through the second UAP. When I was a student at Regis Jesuit, I came to a deeper understanding of this UAP through my junior and senior immersion experiences. For my junior year, I spent two weeks with adults with disabilities as they learned how to navigate life after high school. During my senior year, I spent time with children who have experienced severe trauma as a result of abuse and neglect. Through both these experiences, I spent time learning what it means to be with communities who are frequently excluded from society, to be present to them and bear witness to their suffering with compassion and grace. As I went to college and began my career in the real world, I knew how to ask the important questions, such as who's being left out of this conversation? Or how does this company uphold the dignity of others? Maybe how can I use my career to walk with the most vulnerable members of society? Ultimately, these questions led me back to Regis Jesuit, where I now facilitate these experiences for current students through the Ignatian Immersion and Solidarity Program. We encourage students to reflect on who Jesus was and how he walked with the excluded. Then we help students live this out through community engagement and immersion experiences. Our hope is that when students leave Regis Jesuit, they will know how their learning can affect others, how to build relationships grounded in love and healing, and how to grow in reconciliation and justice for all.